How you guys doing? I know it's kind of dark in here, and I'm going to try and talk fast. I hope you don't mind. My name is Rob Dolan. I serve as first vice chair for the King County Democrats. I work in the high-tech industry during the day. Do me a favor. Stand up if you went to public school. Stand up if you went to public school. Stand up if you ride the bus, and now stand up if you have paid taxes. I'm pretty sure everybody right now is standing. You're welcome to sit down if you want. You're welcome to stay standing if you want. But I just wanted to make the point that politics is hella important. It does affect us as guys who use the guys and gals who use the internet. Hopefully, more gals in the future, Brady. Hope you're. But I want to talk to you about the uh, King County Democrats website. A little bit about what we're doing. It's kind of weak. And I believe, and I want to share this with you, because I've been working on it, and I think it's kind of weak, and I'm looking to get some of you guys to come get involved in politics, whether it's the Democrats, the Republicans, the Greens, the Libertarians, the Communists, you name it. It is important for us as people who are interested in technology to be involved in politics. So just to talk a little bit about what's going on here, we got a little bit of a left nav. I wish it was uh, coming in a little bit cleaner so you could actually see what some of these things are. Up here, we got this is all uh, built in ASP.NET with a little bit of ASCX controls. We got a little bit of HTML so that the 60-year-old uh, chair of the King County Democrats can use front page to put a few things up over here. We got a blog going on over here. You'll see the CMS for that in a minute. We got a community calendar database that's pulling a bunch of things out of a uh, SQL compatible database. This is the uh, CMS system for the blog. It's just another blog. And uh, gotta love the toe ad up there. <laughs> but all it is is it's just exporting an RSS feed that's getting wrapped into the main page. And then we've been able to use this technology so that uh, the Seattle Democrat, or the Washington for Barack Obama is just a Yahoo group that gets wrapped over here. Seattle Democrats, just using a little bit of Blogger, gets wrapped over here, connected with the community calendar, the sign up to get involved, the login page, the whole nine yards, a little bit of a search up at the top that you might not be able to see. And that's the main page again. A little bit of whoop, volunteer action, donate, because political people like volunteers, like donations. They also like people registering to vote, which just so happened to be the first link up here. If you do click the volunteer button, you get this uh, nice little page where you can input a little bit of contact info. If you know it, input where your legislative district and congressional district is. Input how you might want to help, whether that's blogging, data entry, posting the yard sign, knocking on your neighbor's doors, writing letters to the editor, contacting legislators. All kinds of ways that people can be involved in politics. And I hope that some of you will consider getting involved in this or with other groups. This is for folks who are admins on the site or for legislative district leaders. Oh my gosh. If I need volunteers for phone banking, there are 62 of them in the database, and that data can be pulled out. If I'm in the 30th legislative district, there are not a whole lot of Democrats who have volunteered there. <laughs> this is just a little bit of a site scope search. Got to love the uh, fine folks at Google and Microsoft that are figuring out how to do searches on web, on maps, on uh, specific site or on blogs. The uh, King County Democrats have been doing some uh, work to try and get optimized number one on Google and some other places. Here is the Young Democrats of America. The Young Democrats of America are doing some stuff around social networking. They've, been, uh, they've got a space on MySpace, a space on Facebook, a space on Windows Live Spaces. And they're also running this promotion to get people to replace their MySpace and Facebook pick. One of the things that I've found, because I've run a little bit of data on this, is that if you just have a group on MySpace and people are finding it and people are growing, you get approximately a 1% compounded uh, per day growth rate if you're a political group. So even these, gr these groups are just putting up pages and then people are coming. They're coming to the Young Democrats of America page, for example, and they're looking for chapters near Wilmette, Illinois, for example, and they're finding these chapters and potentially plugging in. The uh, Young Democrats of America are also leveraging uh, the fine folks at SharePoint to host all their member documents. Sorry about that word. And uh, of course, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on with uh, Wikipedia. There were some people who were fired recently from their congressional jobs for editing some articles. But there's a lot of uh, data that's getting put up there and a lot of people contributing. This is a local group called Tech Dems. They've created a help desk for political campaign people so that they can ask a question. They're also uh, donating software and hardware. Some people are flying around the country to help uh, future presidential candidates get their technology set up. Thanks very much for your time. 
if you are interested, this is going to be on that uh, S3 site, so you can find out where a whole bunch of Democratic legislative districts are going, and I'd recommend live searching or Google searching to find other parties. Thanks very much.